In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add custom motion blur to an animated object. And I'm going to be doing a mini series about motion blur. And this is going to be part one, so I'm going to be showing you quite a simple effect, but it's very useful. Okay, so I've got my example scene here, and I've got my red object just doing a very simple tween across the stage here. And if I just do a publish preview so you can see it a bit better, I'm running this at 25 frames per second, and as you can see, it's quite choppy, even though it's quite a quick bit of motion. Um, you can see a sort of weird choppy optical illusion here. So we're gonna go ahead and fix this. So first things first, I'm gonna go to my start point here, select my object, and uh, make sure it's a movie clip, not a graphic, because you can't apply filters to graphics. Okay, so I'm gonna go to properties and down to my filters. And there isn't a motion blur filter in Flash, I'm just going to use the default blur option. And so what you'll find by default is with the X and Y values, they will be connected together and constrained. So if you change one, the other one will follow suit. And we actually want to stop this happening. So first of all, I'm going to put this back to default values. So to prevent this, I'm going to click one of these and this stops the constraint between the two values so you can actually just change them and have different values for both. And the reason why this is important is for this particular example I only want to change the x-axis value aka the horizontal value so for my y-axis which is vertical I'm actually going to put it to zero because there's no motion there. And in terms of my x-axis value I actually want to crank that up because it's going to be moving that direction. So I'm going to put it to about, I'm going to do 20. And you can see the effect is already starting here. And also I would definitely recommend using high quality because you can see it gives it a much more filtered, feathered out effect here. All right, great. So next I'm going to go to my end frame. And I'm just going to do the exact same values. So X axis 20 and high quality. Okay, so the effect is pretty much done, but I'm just going to do uh, one more effect. I'm just going to go to roughly the middle frame, insert a new keyframe, and for this, I'm just going to ramp up the value to about 30. Okay, so let's check it out. I'm going to go to Publish Preview. All right, and there we go. As you can see, it's a much smoother motion, and the idea about using motion blur in animation in general is to make your animation appear as if it's running at a higher frame rate than it actually is. And as you can see, this looks like it's running a lot faster than the previous example is. Okay, so I hope you found this effect useful. And in part two, I'm gonna be doing some more ambitious and complicated motion blur effects. So make sure you subscribe and keep up to date. And I will see you in the next video.